Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I went to Paris in the month of December around Christmas time and my Paris vlogs are coming soon so keep an eye for that. Uh, so anyways, the day we made plans to go to Paris, the first thing that struck me was Kiko Cosmetics and you know I really heard about them that they are very affordable brand and stuff and they're really good quality so I was like I have to go there. Uh, and also the other store was Bourjour. Uh, I went to these two stores and they both are in the same mall. Um, I don't remember the name of the mall um, if I remember I'll put it down uh, below also if you want to know how to get this look uh, I'll have it down in the description box below or in the i button above that I've already done this look in my previous video so uh, yeah don't forget to check that out so yeah without too much rambling let's get on to the video I haven't tried any of these products uh, I am going to be uh, testing it out and you know if you want me to make a video using these products please put it in the comment section guys that's how I'll know what kind of videos you are interested in so the first one is going to be the liquid skin second skin foundation now I had actually selected two foundations but this is a better one as opposed to the other one because this gives more uh, more of a natural finish and that's what I am looking for I prefer you know sheer skin foundation um yeah so let's see i mean now that i'm looking at it it looks a little light for me i did try it over there and it looked pretty okay so basically it comes with a dropper which is a good thing and can you see the consistency how it is it's like really really watery so yeah i am excited and the good thing is that it has a dropper so uh it's going to be really nice i i can't wait to try this foundation out and i hope it suits me like the color goes well for me the next one is a concealer it's a Kiko Milano full coverage concealer and this is the one uh, that I got it just says a high coverage concealer and I can't wait to try this out I hope this suits me now the thing is that in the store um, the light is very dim so you don't know I mean you can see in the mirror but you're really not sure whether it would suit you or no so whatever she tested on me that's what I got I hope it just goes with my uh, skin the next one is going to be wet and dry uh, eyeshadow it's a high pigment and it's in the number 11 this is how the eyeshadow is it is so buttery oh my god this is so beautiful i love this i can't wait to try these out oh my god you guys i'm so excited now the next one is uh, again wet and dry eyeshadow in the number 62 look at the color this is so pretty you guys and the, and the shades are so buttery and they are not at all chalky. Now the next one is the Kiko Milano again high pigmented number 64. Look at that. See they are really different shades. This is like more on the purple side and this is more on like the pink side. So the next one is high pigment again in the number uh, 18. So by the name of it I think you can use it wet and dry which anyways if I want to increase the intensity of the eyeshadow I do spritz with some water so uh, yeah let me see this is the color and this is in the shade 18 it is so beautiful guys when I swatched it over there I fell in love with this look at how buttery it is you guys Ooh, look at that whoa I'm so excited I was literally like a kid in a candy shop when I went over there. Okay, the next one is color eyeshadow. It just says color eyeshadow in smart. And they had a deal going on. Like if you buy two of the wet and dry shadows, I think you get one of these shadows for free or something like that. Now this is how it looks like and this is in the shade 12. Let's watch it out. Now these are not as buttery as the other ones. I don't know why, but look at that is the one this is pretty it's like a beautiful champagne color very pretty very pretty then the next one is uh, again a smart color eyeshadow the number zero three yeah again this is not as buttery as the um, other one Let me show it to you. can you see that this is really really beautiful oh my god <sighs> I'm super excited. Okay, so the next thing are uh, these two lipsticks. The first one is in the number 21. Okay, it's in the number 21. And this is how it looks like. So beautiful, right? What a packaging. It looks so luxurious. Look at how, oh my god, this is my favorite. I just love these mauve shades. 
so this is the next one in the number 11 okay and this is how it looks like this is a beautiful like um, pinkish magenta type color so that was it i think for uh, kiko so the next product is going to be from bourgeois uh, this is the rouge edition in velvet i don't know what shade number it is it's in grand cru look at that this color the next one is it's again in the color plum plum girl and i'm guessing it's a plum color so beautiful right then the next one is this uh, bourgeois contouring illusion it's a bronzer and highlighter and yeah, this is how it is they had like a, a texture over there so i did test it out over there and see like look at that i don't know if you can see it really looks very beautiful and it looks very good as a contour and this is like the highlighter oh nice interesting look at that i don't know if i'm doing justice but look at that can you see that i think it looked very good when you apply it on your cheekbones so yeah so the next one is going to be the Bourjois Paris Healthy Mix Serum now i have heard a lot about this especially i think kathleen spoke about this like long back they're saying that this is one of her favorite foundations so i was like you know i really have to go pick this up and they mind you this is available on amazon but i wasn't sure of my shade uh, because you know seeing picking up a foundation online is really tricky and you know i didn't want to like go with the hassle of returning it and all that stuff so i just picked this up now she did mention to me that you know it may look a little bit gray on me but i think i can manage it you know it was not that bad when I when she did swatch on my uh, neck and see it was pretty okay it didn't look ashy as such the next one that I picked up was this Marvis Jasmine Mint Toothpaste now I heard about this from Tati if you follow her on YouTube you might know that she always uh, buys this um, toothpaste and she was mentioning that it's really good etc so yeah I, I picked this up and they have like so many flavors in this like I just picked up the jasmine because I liked the you know packaging and I really wanted to buy the uh, bioderma you know micellar water and I got like two of these I don't know why I got but they apparently had a sale going on I got both of these for 11 euros like literally 11 euros i mean think about it here one bottle i think it's a, i don't know how many dollars like 15 20 dollars and there i got both of these together for 11 euros i also got a travel size one because it you know you should always have a travel size makeup remover and never ever sleep with your makeup on guys that is so important i mean I have done that mistake so many times before I got into makeup of course um, I used to sleep with my eyeliner and you know guys you will get dark circles if you do that even like sometimes my sister or my mom they'll be like oh it's okay you know I'm I'm just too lazy guys I know it is lazy but never ever sleep with your makeup on never ever you don't want your pores to get clogged I know so many times people come and tell me oh you're wearing makeup you know won't you get won't your skin get spoiled I'm like no it won't you know because I am not applying my makeup the entire day i just apply it maybe like for five six hours i come back and i remove my makeup you know guys that is the important thing people are scared to apply makeup uh, because they think that they'll get you know skin issues and stuff no you're getting those skin issues because you're not uh, removing your makeup at night not because you're applying makeup uh, remove your makeup and sleep don't do that mistake of sleeping with your makeup okay then the next one is going to be the bourgeois um uh, blush now, this is actually very similar to Coralina actually when she was giving me this um, blush I told her you know I have a very similar shade you know can I get but then I have I'm, as I told you I didn't have any time to you know pick and choose and stuff so I was like okay whatever let me just buy it for you know just because I had to buy something I just bought this um, color I went to this uh, quarterly uh, store I heard about this from Luster Lux Katie uh, she I think uses this a lot and I got this from the drugstore over there this is like um, beauty elixir smoothing and glowing complexion and from the bourgeois store itself I got um, this pouch this pouch uh, just like a small kit which I'm probably going to give it to my mom or my sister and then I got this brush kit this is so cute but 
I don't think I'm going to be using this, but let me see. Uh, I got this brush kit. It was just like a gift set. And the next thing is I went to Sephora over there and it was again in the same mall. Like right when you enter the mall, you can see Sephora over there. I happened to see Sleek uh, Palace on the, you know, the checkout section area. I thought Sleek was like an affordable brand and they would not have that in Sephora. But anyways, I asked them, you know, do you have uh, Sleek Palace? They were like, oh yeah. And it was not even on display. That was the only area on the travel section where they had one Sleek Palette. So I, they were like, yeah, yeah, we have and stuff. So they took me to a place and literally it was all in drawer. The like, uh, one that I got from uh, Sleek was this uh, highlighting palette in the shade Solstice. And if you follow Jaclyn Hill, she swears by this. She wears one of the shades from here and she uses champagne pop on top and it looks bomb.com. So this is, I think she uses this one if I am not wrong. And if you follow Manny, makeup artist Manny MUA, he also uses this and look at the packaging you guys, it looks so luxurious. The next one I got was the uh, Sleek Eye Divine palette, the original palette it says. So yeah, I got this one and look at this shade here. Oh my god, let me swatch a few and show it to you. Next one I got was um, the Banana Hand Milk Tony Moly. So cute. Oh my god. It literally smells like banana and they had so many. They had like cherry, plum, so many other things. But you know, this one was very cute. So I got this one. It's so good. Ooh, awesome. That's about it you guys. These were all the products that uh, I got when I went to Paris. So if you want me to do like a makeup look using some of these products, please do let me know. Put it in the comment section below. That's how I'm going to know you guys what uh, videos you are interested in. I just don't want to keep making videos where you you know it really doesn't matter to you. So you know that you guys are going to help me out. It's that's how i'll know so please do let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more such hauls don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to follow me on my social media you guys i do snapchat a lot these days and you know i put some updates on instagram so yeah follow me there and uh, thank you so much you guys until next time bye bye